she got a sore leg that one I'm not sure what's up with that They could almost use some straw again by the looks of it. But we'll see how the day goes. It's been so warm lately, I haven't really been eager to put a bunch of straw out. But they'll all crowd, crowd around that them couple bunks and there's three big bucket loads in there in those two bunks, so they'll be fed up for today anyways anyway off to something new and well maybe not necessarily new but more important stuff right now talk to you guys later that's done anyway this thing is now done um, I actually made the drinker holes three inches bigger from 12 inches from edge to here so you can see how it was then I ended up welding it just a couple of stitches uh, back to so it was shut and I cut three or more inches off And give it a 15 inch hole uh, also installed an overflow like that and if I want that's threaded on the bottom I could thread a fitting in there and have like a rubber hose or collapsible hose or even a hard plastic type hose that fits on there to run the water out if it ever was to not shut off for whatever reason Ran square bar around the edges so the cows can't cut themselves. And on this edge, we ran um, half by half angle so they can't cut themselves. Also set the angle in a little bit so that when you close the lid, it sits on top of the angle. Sits down tight. The cows, that way the cows can't push it down. And so... Same on this side, same setup. Uh, what else? Ran two more beads down each side and across the bottom to seal that all up. I have not put water in it since I re-welded stuff, but this is what we're doing. So, what's going on now? I want to build a cage that fits around this thing. So my buddy's got insulation for it and the insulation is aluminum sheeted. It's three inch, in, inch, yeah, three inch insulation. We're gonna lay a sheet over the top on this side. I might notch it out so that it fits around that uh, chimney. We're going to have a piece that comes down each side. A uh, piece on the top. I'm thinking it's going to come to this, this point from the end to here. A piece on that end. And if he does have a small enough piece, I might close in this part right here. Just leave the firebox door side open. So it's three inches. And I'm going to build a cage so that cows can't necessarily rub on it. So four legs. Um, this is four feet from there to here. So it'll be five feet. The tank is six feet. So I'm going to make it five by seven is my plan. And then two foot four high. So the tank is two feet. I'm just going to go up a little bit higher. The cows will have to reach basically a foot from out here to
to the drinker hole, they'll have to reach a foot. That should not be a problem. If they come from the end, it'll be a little closer, but if they're on the side, it'll be a little farther away. So, so that's what this steel, what we're cutting steel here for now. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get this cut and we'll bring you back a little bit later. Well, fuck. We needed that white stuff like we needed another hole in our heads. And that's just adding to the muck that we got going on. It never did freeze. And it's supposed to come back. It's supposed to come back in another... God darn woman pushing me out the door. You listen. You listen. <laughs> you listen. And uh, tomorrow, 60 to 70K wind, high of plus 7 Celsius. Uh, not as bad wind for Saturday, but still same kind of temperatures. And then I think it was Sunday night or Monday night, something like that. More of this white stuff. Anyway, it's been one of them days. And I ain't getting into it. So uh, we'll see you guys later. Have fun. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's been a couple days since I videoed anything. And it's actually like, what, 4 o'clock? Uh, March 16th, Saturday, and it's like 4 o'clock in the afternoon here. I uh, just went and did a cow check. We did have a calf this morning. So uh, I built this cage to fit around our tank. Hopefully it's not too far of a reach for uh, the cows. So we tried something, and it's not going to work. We stuck a piece of styrofoam. So this stuff is three inches thick. It's like a wall sheeting or roofing panel. And when you get them, they're like almost four feet wide. And you can get them 30, 40, 50 feet long type of thing. But anyway, a neighbor of mine had a bunch of used ones that they saved on a construction job where the building was getting demoed or demolished anyway i stuck one on the underside to see how it would work well it's not going to work because it doesn't allow me to open my door so the tank will have to be lowered down and put it on for this year for right away when we go to install this i'm thinking the tank is going to go right on the ground that way, because the ground is frozen, that way the tank, the ground will absorb some heat uh, from the tank to help keep the water line and everything thawed out. Eventually, it'll sit on concrete, and I'll probably just have like one inch styrofoam on the underside, then the door and everything will still work. These lids, when I built the cage, the lids would open all the way, but right now, with the tank raised up on that 3-inch styrofoam, the handle hits that bar right there. So that don't work too good for us. So yeah, now if we drop it an inch, or an inch and a half, two inches, then the lids will open all the way. It's not an issue. So the cage... So if we want to split the crawl in half, this way we can, and nobody's going to try crawling over top because of that paneling that's up higher. And also the cage helps hold the styrofoam sheets around the tank, which in turn should help hold some heat. I have one piece that is cut out, and it goes over top all of that area. And this area, it's open around the chimney 
This part right here around the chimney to the edge of the drinker hole, it would be open, but from here to the end and all the way across over there, that's all closed in. So yeah, just giving you an update on this. I'm not gonna try installing it until Monday. Monday, it's supposed to hit plus 10. Today, it's like zero. It is kinda sorta melting on top a little bit, but the wind is, it's around 50K wind and that wind just bites, it's brutal. So, so it's not melting a lot today, but it is melting a little tiny bit, but it's cold. So I'm not screwing around with that. Uh, we were watching a bull sale on DLMS, stuff like that this afternoon. So anyway, I got to cut some steel for crowl panels. So that's what I'm going to do. And when I go to the barn, I'll show you the calf. Another thing I want to talk to you, tell you guys is doing a shout out here. Uh, if you guys don't know, aren't subscribed yet, but, and I think I've done a shout out once before. But get on over on YouTube and check out 3D Ranch on YouTube. Go see what uh, Michael's got going on over there. And uh, yeah, I had a good, oh shit, I bet you I talked on the phone with Michael this morning for probably two friggin' hours. It was awesome. We talk about cows, talk about barns, talk about corral setups, talked about all kinds of stuff. It was great. Cameras, cow cams. Mm, so, had an awesome conversation. Mm, so, he his videos are basically the same as CP and myself. It's more or less uh, all farming, like cattle farming type stuff. Uh, making hay, silaging, raising cattle. It's all, that's what his videos are all about. Same as me and CP. And speaking of CP, there she is. The one, the only, the troublemaker and instigator. <laughs> here she comes, here she comes. She's got that badonka dunk going on. <laughs> <laughs> Look out guys <laughs> I think they wrote a song about that <laughs> About what? Badonka dunk <laughs> No I don't Right freaking there No I don't that's 23. It's made you look. She's looking, made me look, you ass. She's, 23 is looking for her scratches. It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. I said that. That wind bites the big one. So yeah, get over to uh, 3D Ranch on YouTube. And, uh... Are you coming with me? I'm going to cut some steel. Okay, love you, bye. Love you, bye. And, uh, let them know that BP and CP sent you over. Anyways, I'm going to get to work at cutting some steel because if I don't cut any steel, I'm going to get my ass kicked by CP. So I better, I better cut some steel. So we'll catch you guys all later. There, I told you guys earlier that I'd show you the new, the newcomer to the ranch here. And there she is, little sheriff heifer calf off of uh, one of our our own cows, Green 57. When I say Green 57, it's the ear tag on. And so, she was born around, I'm gonna guess 4.30 in the morning, five o'clock. She was still kind of wet when I found her at 6.30. That's uh, her, and we just brought her in. She's, I don't know if she's gonna do something, but she sure is friggin' nervous, and her udder is, it really filled up over the day today. So, 
What? She has a head like one of the new ones we bought. No, this is one that we raised. So, uh, she's all kind of... Right now, it doesn't help that she's in a pen by herself either. So, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go. Give us the old thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Fun, fun, fun. Get her done. Can I we'll, see my meat? Deer sausage and breaded pork cutlets. There, now you guys know what we're getting for supper. <laughs> we'll catch you all later.